Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Now if you or I were testifying in a trial or before a congressional committee and we said we didn't do something and it turned out that we did the exact thing we said we didn't do, we would go to jail. Lying under oath is perjury. At least it is for ordinary people like you and I. But that's not the case if you're a rich or well-connected or a powerful political figure. Jeff Sessions, under oath, in his Senate confirmation hearing for the post of Attorney General, the top law enforcement officer in the United States, said, I did not meet with any Russians during the campaign. He wasn't even asked if he had done that. He went out of his way to say that. And then when it came out that he had met with the Russian ambassador twice during the campaign, along with several other top Trump campaign staffers, was he sent to jail? No. Somehow, for Jeff Sessions, this big a lie is not perjury. And he's going to be allowed to correct the record. But he won't have to face further questions from the committee. He's just going to submit a written statement that is the exact opposite of what he testified to under oath. And included in that statement will be another lie. Because he will say in that statement that he and the other campaign staffers that were with him did not discuss anything to do with the campaign. Now, this is bad enough. But there are other things that Jeff Sessions is doing. The, the first thing Sessions did when he got into the Attorney General's office was call a halt to all Justice Department investigations and legal cases against police departments who have been abusing their communities. And yet this lying piece of shit will be allowed to remain as Attorney General of the United States. Is it any wonder that Americans have lost faith in their government, have lost respect for the legal system. The top law enforcement officer in this country is being held to a lower standard than you or I would be. Thanks for listening.